previously on Launch Control. Subaru Rally Team USA arrived in Maine for the New England Forest Rally, billed as the biggest showdown of the year. With an entry list filled with world-class teams, Subaru's David Higgins and Travis Pastrana knew they were in for a battle. It was maximum attack on stage one, with both Subarus setting the benchmark. And when the dust settled on stage two, Higgins and Drew had confirmed their intentions. Marcel, good morning, wake up. Now, Subaru must find a way to keep up the pace or risk losing their lead. This is Launch Control. One second per mile. That's the simplest way to explain the comparative speed of David Higgins and Craig Drew versus their closest competitors so far. As the teams gear up for stage three, some competitors are impressed. But no, so far so good. You go, Nori. And others are seemingly dismayed. This early performance has sent a clear warning shot that Subaru is prepared to compete against all challengers. One, go flat left, 120. With a single stage remaining in the day, Higgins and Drew want to build a gap before their competitors find a way to match their speed. Keep right of a 70, left 6 in of a crest, and slow in right 6 of a big crest, 35. Care left 4 plus, keep in of a big crest. Then right 5 in, and early left 5 minus of a jump. 70. Then left 5 long, 120. David and Craig are at their best. Crest, and right 6 minus over finish, 150. Okay. They set a third fastest time and take another nine seconds. The day ends with Subaru holding a 33 second lead. You know, it's been an unbelievable day for us. We pushed really, really hard and you, know, you can only do that when you've got confidence in your car and the car's been absolutely awesome today. Craig's done a brilliant job. We came to this event fully prepared for uh, whatever M Sport Ford or anybody else bought and I think it's shown in the stages today. We, we always work really, really hard before every event. People don't see the, uh, the number of hours, phone calls, emails that David and myself share before events, um, reviewing our in-car footage. But, you know, we also, to take this rally extra seriously, we've both been on a really tough sort of fitness regime and lose, lost a few pounds. It's all, all adds to the performance of the car. An unbelievable feeling for us and the whole team to be, you know, a car that's been produced here in Vermont and to be on the home rally and, and do what we've been able to do is, is great, but we're a long, long way from the end of the rally, but I'm, I'm sure we'll sleep a bit easier than what he will tonight, that's for sure. What a difference a day makes. When the event started, Subaru had the biggest challenge of the year on their hands under the bright main sunshine. Today has brought dark clouds and a tenuous lead to preserve. Travis Pastrana and Chrissy Beavis returned to action today. A faulty wire forced them to miss two stages, incurring nearly 30 minutes in penalties. Down in 15th place, they have a mountain to climb. As the rally leader, Higgins starts first on the road. Three, two, one, go left five, and right six, 40. And three right three plus, keep it long, long. Late right five plus narrows then, keep left through junction, short right five plus, 50. Slot. On a sunny day, that means no dust. 
but in wet conditions, they're the first to find any slippery sections. And everybody following has the benefit of seeing their line and breaking points. That 33 second lead might just come in handy should things go wrong. With block directly behind them, they need to balance the risk they're willing to take to defend their lead. The balance tips on the opening stage and they lose four seconds to block. But they gain one second back on the next. Pastrana and Beavis start third on the road. They need blistering times if they want to get back in the running. Half right four plus, over kick. Any further setbacks will end their chance of making this comeback a success. After 29 miles of rallying this morning, the 199 Subaru has cracked into the top 10. And half right five plus, opens over max crest, 50. But there's only 55 stage miles remaining to reel in the front runners. The car is returned to Arrow for service. Both cars have come through the morning stages unscathed. Yeah, no, we've had an awesome day again, really. Um, first time this morning out on the stages when there's some new paths and the first time on the road is always pretty tricky. Um, so we made sure we didn't go like super crazy this morning just to make sure our notes were good and make sure we sort of knew where the, the bad areas were. So pace is good still, car feels fantastic and you know, it's, all, it's all going all going to plan. Going really good, man. Yeah. Update after alternator. Good? Yeah, after alternator, the car's really good. You know, we, we weren't really far off um, on the first three through that, but we knew we were going to get to do them again, so Chris and I really made an effort on our notes. Went out there, drove. I mean, I was off the road more than I was on it, but, I mean, it felt fast still. It felt like we were on it. felt like we weren't losing time, and we didn't pick anything up, so um, maybe I overdrove. We're uh, look at some more tapes and trying to get a stage win here before the end of the day. Travis will uh, never really acknowledge um, any shortcomings of his, which is kind of awesome. Um, but at the same time, there could be other things that we could be doing, um, like working on the notes harder and um, looking at the car setup um, when he just blames himself instead of uh, blaming anything else, which is fine, but you know, sometimes we need to get to the root of the problem. Rallycross teammate Bucky Lassick is on hand to experience a full rally service along with members from Subaru Rally Team China, who were here to learn from the experienced Vermont sports car team. Uh, average technology in China, we are all okay, but for the high-end stuff, we don't have too much. So we just to see the internally how that works, you know, how to take a good care of it. That's basically what we get trained for. The most impressive part of this team isn't just the sheer speed of these cars nor the professionalism of driver and co-driver. It's the absolute dedication to perfection that lifts this team above the rest. Not a single mechanic settles for good enough, and every member of the team works in a cohesive manner that in turn provides the best possible chance for their drivers to win. Uh, this might want to check your toe. Um, just went off a little bit on this, this side. Just gotta follow David's <laughs> For Bucky Lassick, who's seen the dedication to improvement within his own sport, he can't help but be impressed with what he's witnessed this weekend. When I watched the stage I watched yesterday and I saw you rip through there and I saw him come yeah. through and I was like, there's a good few mile an hour difference, like, no doubt. Service complete, the cars head out. The teams head deeper into the forest, where rain has created unpredictable conditions. Middle plus press, then short, left six of a press, 40, left four Higgins and Drew maintain their pace, with Block hot on their trails. Four minor, 
minus in over the crest. Well. Yeah, right five tucks four minus in over crest. Left over 50, entry right four, eight tucks three long, keep in. And left six, 70. Left six the team the start at two minute intervals and Higgins passes the midpoint on time. But Glock does not. Right three minus. 30. Right five plus over max crest. The view from Pastrana's onboard camera reveals an ailing block, carrying heavy damage from an off-course excursion earlier in the stage. Left five minus over crest long. 30. Right five minus over crest. Opens over 100. It then tightens to five minus. Turn left four minus again. Tightens and turn left four minus. Block has lost two minutes already and has to complete two more stages before a repair can be made. For Pastrana, Block's misfortune is of little consequence. He's pushing to continue his rise up the leaderboard. They now hold a top five spot. A podium finish just might be within reach. For Higgins and Drew, the pressure has been relieved. They have a substantial lead. Dip 16, right 5 plus long 80, flat left 100, flat left pass opening 100, left 6, keep left of a 75, right 6 rocks, and left 6 middle long long tightens in, and short right Higgins can ease off just a fraction to ensure they bring the car to the finish. My boy uh, David Higgins and Craig Drew, they blasted out front and pretty much sprayed the whole rest of the field from start to finish. And seeing the, the edge on how edged the drivers are, I definitely want to be a part of this rally. Flat right, then short, left six. It feels like I'm running really fast. <laughs> short left six, 80. Flat left of a crest then, right six, 45. Short left five plus narrows. David and Craig pass Bucky for the last time this weekend. Then opens of a crest. Two turns remain. Five in over crest. Then left six of a crest, 100. Over the number 75 Subaru claims victory at the New England Forest Rally. Get in there, Shark. Get in there, buddy. Ah, this one's for all the boys back in Vermont. Go get it, boys. Go get it. Top job, buddy. Top job. And they also clinched the 2015 Rally America Championship. Yeah, no, that's it. You know, the championships are, um, wasn't important this weekend. This, this meant more than any championship. There was no points to worry about by any driver. It was just purely all about speed this weekend. And you know, I was so happy for the guys of Vermont. They've gone out there and proved that they can they can match any car with anywhere else in the world. So big thanks to the boys. Awesome car. Pastrana and Beavis's hard work on the second day has also paid off. An impressive climb up the leaderboard to claim third overall. Can't believe we actually made podium after uh, missing two stages yesterday. Super rally in this morning. Uh, you know, it was a tough rally for a lot of guys. I don't know. We got to go back to the drawing board, but Christian was amazing. Car was amazing, and uh, can't say enough of the team kept kept behind me and uh, see you on the podium. A podium position on their return to rally is a welcome result, especially after a difficult first day. Championships aren't won on luck. This weekend proved that. Champions rise to the occasion. Third! 
Yes. I'll take it. Thank Each you. and every time. They believe in themselves. There was so much hype and so much talk before and kind of the big names coming back to the championship, but all we've done is just focus on our event. Believe in the team. Travis has had a great rally. He's, um, you know, it was a shame what happened to him before because his first time was great. And looking forward to more battles with Travis. Um, if we can have this sort of competition all the time, it'll make it for one hell of a series. And believe in the car. We went out on the first stage and decided to push straight from the off. And we've just kept that momentum all weekend. You know, no one was out on this rally looking for points. It was just a pure speed event. And this car's been absolutely awesome. The whole team's done an awesome job again. And, and Craig on the notes has been absolutely spot on. And I'm super happy. Another championship. And then belief turns to reality. First overall, David Higgins and Craig Drew are now your 2015 champion. Yeah! Congratulations, everybody. Yeah! Subaru's perfect season continues, even after the largest and most competitive field of drivers attempted to take it away. this day with the 2015 WRX STI with Super Rally Team USA and Vermont Sports Car to fight some of the best competition that is out there in the entire world in rally. And for the guys to rise the occasion, but both Subarus on the podium, take the win, claim the championship for the year. This one's going to feel good for a really long time. Launch Control returns this fall.